All right. Hello. How are you all doing today? Got there. You were first. How you doing, Mr. Costa? How are you doing? Hey, Cole, and it is. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? I hope your weekend is going well. Did your pre-releases go well if you went to any? I did not manage to get to any pre-releases because dear me, dear me, it's been a busy weekend already. This morning I filmed all of my videos for this week and uh, I can't, I don't want to like super spoil you guys. But, uh, man, there is something sweet coming. There is something sweet coming for, uh, the patron pile for next month. Holy moly. Let's just say there's a green enchantment. There's a green enchantment. From the Ravnica block. That's fairly popular. And, uh... Let's just say that, uh... Let's just say that there is, in the old packs, so from those older packs, when you got a foil, it took, it, like the foil took the card from its regular slot and put it at the back. And... So we'll just we'll just say that if you get a foil rare, nothing in the order changes. Pew, 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 pew. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Holy moly. Holy moly. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and... And just so that we're clear, for those of you joining, Tony, I see you, Jordan, welcome, Dustin as well. <clears throat> that was opened today while I was filming my one of everything for this coming week. So, guess where that foil is going? Right into the patron pile. Woo! I'm super stoked about it. I'm super stoked about it. I, I couldn't believe it when I opened it. I was just like, well, that's it. It's over. I'm done. No more. We can't open anything else amazing. No way. Spoiler alert. I know. I know. Dustin, I can't contain myself. I'm sorry. I only spoiled that, though. Like, that's, the, that's like the crazy. That's the craziness. There's some other good stuff in there. Don't worry. You watch it. You'll see. I apologize for the spoiler, but man, I couldn't contain it. I couldn't contain it. In fact, we opened some pretty cool stuff, actually. There's going to be some cool things added to the patron pile for next month as well. I mean, you guys have already seen the one from July 1st. 
Was it July 1st? No. Not July 1st, but July 4th? Yeah, July 4th. So we added some pretty cool stuff to August's patron pile just from the July 4th video. You get two grab bags this time because of last month. Um, that is correct. Because you did fix... Did you fix your payment? Hold on. I have to go and... I have to go and inspect this now. Because you weren't fixed. Let me just go check. You did? Wait. No, you weren't... Wait a minute. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Oh wow, it put it yeah, it was so out of order. Yeah, okay, so your pro your your process got pay uh, yeah, your okay. So your payment got processed, but not until the twenty eighth. So so Costa, just so that we're in in the clear here, you will get a second grab bag this month, but you will not get a second pull from the extra cards because the payments have to be processed before I pull the grab bags for that month. When you roll over. Okay, just that's just so that we're out there in the clear, okay? I apologize that that happened, but... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dustin. We'll, we'll get started right away. We'll get started right away. So, we have everybody... I know that oh, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are at their LGSs for their pre-releases. I apologize for you guys out there. This is just the only time that I could film this before Monday so that I can get these grab bags mailed out to you guys. It's, it's the 7th of July already, and I haven't mailed these out to you. I feel really bad. I want to get these out in the mail. Um, so, Carl, we got Matt, we got Travis, we got Logan, we got Father Frodo, we got Rick, we got Gamer. We got two new patrons, Gamer Geek and Eric. You guys are not going to be getting um, extra pulls, or are you? One of you signed up last week, didn't you? Hold on. Hold the phone. Did one of you sign up last month? No. Okay. You're both new patrons for July. Yes. Correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, so Gamer Geek and Eric, you guys will be getting grab bags this month, but you will not be getting um, extra pulls this month because you have to be a patron and roll over. So you get to see the cool things that are being given away in the patron pile, and next month you will be in the patron pile. Don't worry, the patron pile is going to have a lot of stuff in it still. That's going to be exciting. So... Then we've got Jordan, then we've got Tony, we've got Mike, we've got Scott, we've got Chris, we've got Dustin, we've got Joe, we've got Bro Conky, we've got Ken, we've got Ian, we got Matt, we got Evan, we got Cole, we got MTG Unpacked, we got Cole, again, a different Cole, and then we've got Kyle, Cole, we got Cole F and we got Cole M, alright? So, without further ado, this is the patron pile, whole Lee moly. All right. Okay, this is our patron pile. Last time you guys saw it, it was looking kind of skimpy. This is our patron pile, okay? This is the pile of stuff that I have to add still from July 4th and the video I filmed today. Okay? Not all of this has to be added, but some of this. So there's a lot of stuff um, that's going to be added to this pile as well. And then, of course... As always, we're giving away um, an invocation um, to the last winner of the, or the last person drawn. Um, there may be cards in this pile that are of higher value than the invocation, I get it. But the invocations and stuff are just kind of like a little nice piece, I think. They're, they're harder to come by, maybe they're not worth as much, but like, you know... Sometimes it's nice to just have like a little memento, right? So let's take a look at what's in the patron pile. We've got some interesting stuff here. Oh, there's a Jace. A s this is some of the newer stuff. An ensnaring bridge, a foil reef worm. This is two mutagenic growths. I put them together. This is a Delver of Secrets with a counter spell. We've got a mana drain. Okay. We have a Berserk. We have a foil inexorable blob. A blood braid elf. Collective Defiance, Enlightened Tutor. Reality Smasher, Prairie Stream, Flooded Strand, Sadisi, Nissa, Dak, Dictate, Siphon Sliver, Woodfill Primus. This is, if you get this, you get one of each full art land, one of each basic, um, plus a waste. 
Ashnod's Altar, Dictate of Crufix, Razaketh, Rune, uh, Shaper's uh, Sanctuary, Foil, I believe? Is that Foil? Why is this in here? Are you Foil? You're not Foil. I don't know why this card's in here. Is this card worth putting in here? I have no idea. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I added it for a reason and there was something, I don't know. We got Ash Barons, we got Kozilek, we've got a foil. <laughs> a foil Unstable Plains is still up for grabs. Gideon's of the Trials, a foil 7th edition Swamp. Thoughtseize, Kitchen Finks, a another just a uh, Swamp, and a Blooming Marsh. So of course, lots of good stuff. For those of you who are just tuning in, welcome. Tony, I'm a broke honky. Viking MTG, Mike, welcome. Becca, I apologize for missing you. Hello, welcome. There's a lot of good stuff. For those of you just tuning in, there was a spoiler at the beginning of the video of something that I opened for this week's one of everything that will be going into the patron pile next month and it is a super super spicy hit and holy moly i never in my wildest dreams would have imagined that we would have opened it but we did and we opened it in one of everything and it's going into the patron pile even if i want to keep it for myself because holy moly E holy moly, I can't not put it in. It's just too incredible. It's too incredible. I can't, I can't not put it in. So make sure you go back and watch. Unless you want to leave it as a spoiler for this Wednesday, which, fine, by all means. Check it out on Wednesday. Alright, we've got everybody's name in the pile. Of course, as always, we're gonna wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's two people in here that aren't getting these cards. Right, right. Let's make sure that we pull those people out. Gamer Geek and Eric are two brand new patrons for July. Thank you so much for joining, I really appreciate it. We're on our way, folks. We're on our way. There is a goal on the Patreon page. Um, It shows how honest you are. Well, that's it. Like, And listen, I'm going to be upfront, just like I've told everyone in every video. If a Leovold ever gets opened in the one of everything, I'm keeping it because I don't have one for my collection. I have this card. Maybe not in the version that it is. I have it already for my collection, so that's not so problematic for me. Um, so, not a big deal. That's why, that's why I'm okay with letting it go without too much uh, pain in my heart. Um, but yeah, of course I've got to let it go. I mean, the patrons, you guys, the people who support me with a monetary value, are the reason that I can buy all these packs to do the one of everything, because it's not cheap, especially when you go come across a store like the Trading Post, right? All right. All right, Gamer Geek and Eric, your grab bags will come. We will put you over here so that we don't miss you, okay, for the grab bags. Let's get to the extra pulls. Who is ready? Who is ready? First up, Evan! You're here, and look at that. Also, for those of you who are patrons and are here watching, make sure you check out my Patreon page in the next couple of days. Probably by Monday, I will have a poll posted on Patreon. Even if you're not a patron, it'll be open to the public. Go to my Patreon page and vote on the poll. I would really appreciate it. It's going to be for the podcast. Um... So I would like very much for you to vote. Wh whatever gets the most votes is going to be the topic of the first podcast. So, you know, please. Evan, you're walking away with a fraying sanity. Travis, you're walking away with a dictate of Erebos. Kyle, walking away with that Ephera. Cole F, you're walking away with a Mimic Vat. Matt, walking away with that foil swamp from 7th edition. Mike, Mike's walking away with a Delver of Secrets with a counter spell. Both of them are in there. Ian, okay, let's see here. Let's group these people up like so. Boom. You guys are all done and pulled, so you can go in this box over here for the moment. Ian's next. Ian's walking away with that foreboding ruins. Scott F., is walking away with a Collective Defiance. Matthew N. is walking away with that Rootbound Craig. Carl is walking away with that Foil Reef Worm. 
Chris R is walking away with that Rish car. Hello, car god. Hello, welcome. Joe, Joe B is walking away with that Dak Faden. Tony W, you're walking away with a Berserk. Ken C, you're walking away with a Reality Smasher. Dustin C, let's see if we can get your card in there before you leave. You're walking away with a Thoughtseize. Congratulations, sir. Rick C, I know you're not here right now, but you're walking away with a Gideon of the Trials. There it is. Broke Honky, what are you walking away with? You're walking away with a Kozilek the Great Distortion. Jordan W, you're walking away with a Mana Drain. Jordan, welcome. Congratulations, sir. Father Frodo. You're walking away with a set a full art lance. Cole M. You're walking away with a Woodfall Primus. Logan Bloom is walking away with a Shaper Sanctuary. I'm going to check on that and find out what the deal is. Uh, Logan, we may pull you a... You know what? I'm just going to pull you a different card. I don't know why this is in here. Shaper Sanctuary. Logan, you're walking away with a Nissa, The World Waker. I don't know why this Shaper Sanctuary is in here. What did you get? What did you get? Good question. Let's go take a look. I went through it pretty fast there. Of course, we will recap. But, um... Matthew, you walked away with a root-bound crag from Ixalan. One of the dual lands. Jordan. Jordan, my man, walking away with that Vanna Drain. MTG Unpacked. MTG Unpacked is our last boy. Guess what? He doesn't like spoilers, so, um... He doesn't want me to record his grab bags. But unfortunately for you, Unpacked, you're our big winner for this week. <laughs> so you're walking away with... One of these bad boys. I'm sure you'll open this up and go, what the? <laughs> but, there you go. Or maybe you saw this and already know that you're getting this, but, uh, congratulations, MTG Unpacked. So, we're going to put you up there like so. Like so. So. Alright. We still have a lot of goodies in here. We have a Foil Planes from Unstable still in there. We have a Jace in here still. We have an Unlightened Tutor in here still. We have a Blooming Marsh, Flooded Strand, Kitchen Finks, Inexorable Blobs, a Kama, Ensnaring Bridge. We have a lot of goodies in here still. There's a lot of other good stuff. Thank you so much to all the patrons. Let's pull the grab bags now, right? Let's pull the grab bags now. So, we'll put you guys in there like so. Let's get in here like this. Who is ready for these bad boys? Actually, we can put this back in here now, like that. And we can put that off camera. We can pull this down. And let's, uh... Let's just make a little more room here. Maybe we can... Can we... Not quite? Okay. Good enough. Let's just tip it the other way there. There we go. Alright. Who is ready? Don't worry, we'll we'll cover your card once uh once we get there. Gamer Geek, you're first for the grab bags. Let's pull your grab bag for this month. You got an authority of the councils. That's actually a good card right now. And a green sun zenith, also another very good rare. Two decent rares for Gamer Geek this week or this month. And your commons and uncommons, we should probably really put this like this so that it's easier to get in here. You're walking away with a Murderous Compulsion, Roshan Meanderer. You've got Lieutenant of the Guard, Cut the Earthly Bond, and Oppressive Raise. Your foil being a foil from Scourge, Coast Watcher, a Bird Soldier. Flying protection from green. And your rare, or your common or uncommon worth a dollar more, is a Street Wraith. There you go. Thank you, Gamer Geek. That is your grab bag for this month. Eric. Eric is next. Another new patron. Another new patron. Boom. Tyrant of Valakut. Emeria Angel. Nice little landfall angel, by the way. Very cool. Makes birds. You got a Jawar Isle Avenger, you got a Cathar Shield, and you got an Unnatural Endurance, as well as a Murder, Murder, Straight Murder, Relentless Hunter, and a Keeper of Kukus, Keeper of Kukus, and your foil is a Resolute Blade Master, and your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a Demir Signet, there you go, 
Nice little Demir fixing. Eric, thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy that. Logan Bloom, you're up next, my man. You're walking away with that Nissa World Waker as your extra. And your pulls are an Arcanus, the Omnipotent, and a Green Belt Rampager, as well as Core Fisher. Core Skyfisher, I should say. Renegade Wheelsmith, Thunderbolt, Rele Restless Dead, Sundering Growth, and this one. Pin to the Earth. Pin to the Earth. Your foil is a Death Denied. And your common or uncommon with a dollar more is a Rancor. So there you go, Logan. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your pulls. And congratulations on the Nissa. Who's up next? Cole M. Cole M. Yeah, everything's good, bro. Conky, everything's good on the on the uh, cavern. Jeremy, welcome. Thanks. Congratulations to everyone, as Jeremy says. And Car God, hey man, maybe someday, maybe someday, but don't push yourself. Never push yourself. Always, always take care of yourself first before anybody else. Madcap Experiment, Cole. Along with a basilisk collar, slime molding, dawn feather eagle, leave in the dust, gift of Orzova, Arcronian sergeant, and a blossoming wreath. And your foil is a sadistic auger mage from Ravnica. And your common or uncommon with a dollar or more is a path to exile. So there you go, Cole. Thank you so much. Got a couple playables there. And you're walking away with that Wood Woodfall Primus. Not a bad little rare. Father Frodo walking away with that um, five full art lands, one of each basic, plus a waste, so six total. Dimensional Infiltrator and a Gyre Reach Sanitarium. You're walking away with a Strider Harness. Lamp Lighter of Sh uh, Selhoff, Byway Courier, Harvester Troll, Jotu Owl Keeper, and a Mortal Wound. Mortal Wound. And your foil is a Scourge Servant from New Phyrexia. And your commoner, uncommon worth a dollar more is a Serum Visions. Thank you, Father Frodo. I really appreciate your patronage. I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Jordan, walking away with that mana drain. <laughs> mana drain. Well then, here you go, people. And you're walking away with the cataclysmic gear elk. Can we pull you a third mythic? Huh? Uh, bring delight. Well, you only, you only get two mythics. Sorry, Jordan. I hope that's okay. Wicker Witch. Con confront the unknown. Eyes in the sky. Uh, Pyric Salamander. Martyr of Bones. And a Banalish Infantry. Your foil is a Dampening Matrix. Or Damping Matrix, I should say. Foil Rare. You got a Foil Rare, sir. Look at you walking away with all the luck. And a Relic of Progenitus. Well, Jordan, I think you made out pretty well this month. Congratulations, sir. I hope you enjoy those and I hope you get some good use out of them. Broke Honky, you're up next, my man. I don't know if you're still there. I hope your pre-release is going well. You're walking away with that Kozilek the Great Distortion. That's right. And your first rare is a Newscraft mob, along with a Death Cap Cultivator. You're then getting a Kozilek Pathfinder, an Arvorax, a Scion of Ugin, Gaseous Form, Sensory Deprivation, and a Breeze Keeper. And your foil is... Wow. A soul ransom. And your common or uncommon with dollar more is a path to exile. There you go, a broke hockey. I hope you enjoy. Enjoy your new Kozilek friend. May may they bring you uh, you know, many, many disasters of your opponents. I think that's the idea, right? Rick, how are you doing, sir? How are you doing? You have missed you know a few things. And in fact, you got here just in time, Rick. Rick, we're about to pull your grab bag. And guess what? Your extra card for this month is a Gideon of the Trials. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Jordan, I think I don't don't please please don't hold this grab bag as what the quality of grab bags will be like from now on because holy moly that mana drain 
I don't know, man. That's just, it's just not going to happen that often, I hope. Well, I mean, I hope it happens that often, but whew, whew, Fall of the Titans is your rare, Rick. Your second rare is a Crater Hoof Behemoth. There you go, second mythic for you, too. You're walking away with a Chronicler of Heroes, a Pitchstone Wall, Failed Inspection, Arc Lightning, Explore, and a River Boa. And your foil, let's pull this one. How's this one look? How about an Unruly Mob, Rick? I think that's fair, right? That's the people that you work with normally, right? Unruly, Unruly Mobs. And your your common or uncommon with Elmore is a Footsteps of the Gorio, which is a pretty cool card from Saviors of Kamigawa. So there you go, Rick. That was your grab bag for the month. I really appreciate your patronage. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy your new cards. Dustin C. is back at work, so I doubt he's here for this, but he's walking away with that thought sees. Let's see what else we can find for him. Boom! A multi-form wonder. And an oath of Gideon. Hey, they said we said. How's it going? I'm I'm currently pulling the patron grab bags. Dustin is up next. You missed it, man. We we one of our patrons is walking away with a mana drain this month. It's pretty sweet. I I am an unruly mob. Insatiable gorgers. Wailing ghoul. Ophidian. Multani's Acolyte. Hey, look, it's Multani's Acolyte. Look how far back this is. This is from the Urza block, and they just printed Multani as a as a card. So how far back? Planning. They finally decided that they wanted to actually make the person that these acolytes are for. That's pretty cool that they're that they're digging back into the lore and pulling them out, which is pretty nice. And a renowned weaver. And next, boom, an Afa protector. And your foil is a sit uh, sitinal wood readers. Sitinal wood readers. Oh my goodness. All right, and your common or uncommon with dollar more is Ashinod's Altar. Thank you, Dustin, so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag for this month. I'm glad you were able to get your uh, your uh, payment sorted out so that we could get you that extra card. Thank you so much, Dustin. I really appreciate it, man. And welcome back. Ken C is next. He's walking away with that Reality Smasher. All right, Corbin, you went off to a pre-release today and you ended up pulling a Lily and a Scape Shift. Nice, nice, congrats. All right, your first rare, Ken, is going to be an Avatar of the Resolute, and your second rare is a Goblin Trenches. And your first set of commons and uncommons, Uncaged Fury, Filigree Crawler, and Netcaster Spider, as well as a Miscalculation, Maw of Kozilek, and... A man of war from visions look at that and your foil is a mere enforcer and your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a Suzuki summons there it is there it is Ken my man thank you so much for your patronage I really appreciate it I hope you enjoy your grab bag and here's to another great month Tony Tony Wolf my man you're walking away with a berserk those of you who don't know Tony, he's the one who donated that sweet, that sweet Bantu's Reckoning uh, uh, playmat to me. I really appreciate it. Also, Rick made a sweet deck box for me, and I would show it off, but I don't have it here. So anyway, Tony, you're walking away with a Dragon Scale General and a Brawl's Expertise, and your next ones here are a Grotesque Mutation, Primal Druid, Wake of Vultures. Path of Peace, Split Spitting Earth, and a Rune Snag. And your foil? This one? Does this one sound good? How about a Mere Servitor from Fifth Dawn? No charger at work. And your common or uncommon with dollar more is Sa Sakura Tribe Scout. There you go, Tony. We got you, man. Hopefully you can uh, find a charger for your phone and get that sorted out before you have to head home. If not, in I hope work is not too bad for you and that... You uh, end the day with a with a good good amount of work completed and done and nothing to worry about, and you can enjoy the rest of your night. All right, Joe, my man, 
Joe B is walking away with that Dak fading. That Dak, my man. Also, uh, they said, we said, so, just so that we're clear, those of you who are just joining in and those of you who may not have known what this is, this is the patron grab bags. Everyone in my patron at the $8 MTG tier or more gets a grab bag every month. Anybody who rolls over gets added into the extra draws. The extra draws are the cards I pull from the One of Everything series. So if you see my videos on Wednesday, I do a One of Everything where I go out to local game stores and I buy literally one of every pack they have to offer and we open them up together on here. And anything of note, basically over a dollar or two, I add to the patron pile and the patron pile is basically that the cards that get added to the patrons who manage to roll over month to month um so anybody who does that gets an extra pull essentially and they get a pull from a bunch of cards that i opened on the channel specifically that are worth money so there you go dak faden for joe and uh let's see what he gets as his rares he gets a captain's claws and a markov dread knight you get an arcanus web Victimize, Sacred Evacu uh, Excavation, I should say, Defender of Law, Dwarven Nomad, and a Harbinger of Spring. And your foil is a Torpid Moloch from Ravnica, City of Guilds. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a Swords to Plowshares. So there you go. Dak, that's awesome. Yeah, Dak, man. So there you go, Joe. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your new DAC and also the friends that come with him. Chris. Chris is walking away with that Rishkar. Whew. Rishkar is um, a pretty sweet card, actually, right now. And he's still seeing quite a bit of play. Uh, D aside. And a Caverns of Kolios. Or... Coilos, and your commons or uncommons worth a dollar, or pfft, your your commons and uncommons, your bulk pulls, I should say, you get three from each side. There are lands in here that are signed, and uh, they do give you booster pack um, of a current set. So you're getting an Urbis Protector, Seal of Primordium, Cult of Staff, Miscalculation, Mortal Wound, and a down a Drown Yard Explorers. Chris, let's pull your foil. Your foil is a brood butcher. Rare. Got a foil rare. Boom. That's right. The foils can be of any rarity. So you could end up getting a foil mythic out of here. There are some in there. I'm not saying how many, but there are some. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar more is a Knight of the Meadow Grain from Lorowin. So there you go, Chris. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your Rishkar as well as his friends as well. And uh, we've got Carl. Carl's next, walking away with that foil reform. Do I have a Phyrexian Revoker? I will have to look. I don't believe that I do, but I will have to look. Your first rare, Carl, is a Solemn Recruit, or Solemn Recruit, and a Martial Coup. And your commons and uncommons, well, we pulled you two there, but really it should have been this one. Catalog, let's pull Catalog out. Uh, catalog. Boon of Emrakul, and then this one. A Bale of Null. And then you're getting a Parch, Dwarven Nomad, and a Kami of Tattered Shoji. And your foil is a Fog. Fog. It's a Fog foil. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a Counterspell. Who can say no to a Counterspell? Carl, thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy uh, we have to open up a bundle for you. Um, I don't know if you're here or if we talked about what kind of bundle you want, but uh, we have to we have to get that for you at some point. I don't know when we're going to do that. Uh, Viking MTG, I owe you a bundle as well. I believe you asked for Aether Revolt, right? I do have that. We can do it tonight if you are here and you want to watch. Uh, speaking of, there we are. Viking MTG, this is you. Matt N, you're walking away with that rootbound crag. Uh, you've got a Zendikar Resurgent. Actually, that card's worth a couple bucks now, surprisingly. And an Identity Theft. That Zendikar Resurgent is, is spiked a bunch compared to when I, when I remember. When, like, when, it, when the set came out, that card was worth nothing. It's worth a couple bucks now, which is kind of funny. Byway Courier, Dazzling Reflection, Trepanation Blade, Redfold Treefolk, 
coer uh, coercion from uh, Visions and run amok from Dominaria. I didn't know I had Dominaria cards in here. How'd that get in here? Oh, I know how that got in here. I've been shuffling in some of the bulk from the One of Everything series into these. So there could even be stuff in here that I've missed from One of Everything that are actually worth money. So the bulk might actually end up giving you something of value. I, have, I honestly don't know. Uh, I go through it as best I can, but I, sometimes I miss things. And your foil is a Puncture Blast from, uh, I want to say Shadowmore? Is that Shadowmore? No, Morning Tide. Morning Tide, right? With the sun. And your common or uncommon with a dollar or more is Grafted War Gear. Very nice little card from Fifth Dawn. There you go, Matt. We'll put you off to the side over here because we've got to do your bundle. Rick, am I into EDH or more into Standard? Well, I actually don't play competitive Magic, really, um, to be fair with you. Um, I generally only play um, Kitchen Table Magic. So, 60-card decks normally um, with no sideboard. Um... If I'm going to play competitive, it would probably be standard. Um, I might dabble in some modern here and there. EDH I'm starting to get into, but I'm not playing a lot because my play group, the guys that I play with casually, um, they aren't into EDH. Um, at least not yet, anyway. Scott F., you're up next. You're walking away with that Collective Defiance. And you're walking away with a Hollowed Moonlight. And a Free Jam Regent. You're walking away with an Enlarge, a Searing Light, a Barter in Blood, Bloodfell Caves, Toss! Infernal Harvest, Outnumber, and Granite Grip. Royal Club Games. Okay. And you're walking away with a Foil Bone Splinters. Very nice removal spell. And you're walking away with a Soul's Attendant as your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. There you go, Scott. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Let's get you into the box there. Ian is next. Ian. You've got that Foreboding Ruins as your rare. And you're walking away with a Sagarda's Aid and a Hero's Downfall. Very good removal spell, actually. Fathom Seer. Dazzling Reflection, Demir Houseguard, Weapons Trainer, Resolute Blade Master, and a Manta Ray from Weatherlight. And boom. You're walking away with a foil Emperor Crocodile. Wasn't he a rare? I feel like this guy was a rare at some point. And you're walking away with a Delver of Secrets as your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. There you go, Ian. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your new toys. Who's next? Mike. Mike, you're next. Mike Vate. You're walking away with that Delver of Secrets with Counterspell attached. And you're walking away with a Chasm Skulker. And a Wilt Leaf Liege. Then you're walking away with a Disfigure. Seagraph Scab. Borrowed Hostility. Silent Attendant. Sapphire Charm. And a man of war. And your foil? Ooh. Uh, a core castigator. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a lava spike. There you go, Mike. Lava spike. Mmm, delicious. Tasty. Tasty lava spike. Thank you, Mike, so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you enjoy your grab bag as well. Matt. Matt W. You're up next. You're walking away with that Foil Swamp from 7th Edition. Nice black-bordered 7th Edition land. Very rare, because only the Foils have black borders in the core sets from, like, th what, 4th Edition onwards? Revised, technically. Starfield of Nyx, until you get to about, what, um... Why did we, how did we get so many cards? Um, until you get to, what, the core set, like, 2010-ish? 10th edition, somewhere in there, they started putting the black borders on again, because it was revised 4th edition, 5th edition, 6th edition, 7th edition, 8th edition, 9th edition that all had white borders, and then 10th edition didn't have white borders, I think, or maybe 10th, no, 10th edition did have white borders, the X, right? And then Core 2010 didn't have white borders. Anyway, Starfield Nyx, nice mythic for you, Matt, and then a Guardian Seraph as your rare, and then you're walking away with an Aetherborn Marauder, a Woolly Thoktar. A Wirewood Symbiote. 
Talon Trooper, Abby Griffin, and a River Boa. And your foil is a Sylvan Messenger from Origins. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a Chain Lightning. Well, I hope, Matthew, that you light some people up with your new found grab bag toys. All right, Cole F. I hope you're still here. I know it's been a long haul, but here we are. It's finally your turn. Mimic Vat is the extra that you're walking away with. Let's see what we can find for rares for you. Boom. How about a Mythic? Flip Mythic. Ulrich the Kralenhorde. Kralenhorde? And a Lantern Scout. So walking away with that Mythic. Gibbering Hyenas. Ridge Scale Tusker. Murder. Pyrex Salamander. Hope Charm. And a Volcanic Geyser. There it is. And your foil is a foil rare. Walking our way with a foil rare. Serpentine Spike. Very nice. Okay, and your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. Boom! It's a Vines of Astwood. There it is. Nice little green trick with a kicker. Who doesn't like kickers? Especially now that there's that green-red uh, kicker spell. Murder was the card that he gave him. Oh, God. Murder. Get murdered. Um, but uh, that the Vines of Asswood works really well with that new elf from Dominaria, the Fire Fletcher elf, um, that when you kick things, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. No, thank you as well, Cole. I really appreciate your patronage. I, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. Thank you so much. Kyle C is next. We've got Eferia, God of the Polis. And your rares, boom, an Armament Master, very nice card actually, very good for the White Weenie, and another Mythic, Descend Upon the Sinful. Alright, and you're walking away with a Hashep Oasis, a Wake Dancer, a Monk Idealist, a Goblin Medics, a Fit of Rage, and a Sun Clasp. And your foil, boom, this one. Uh, Necromatic Summons from Origins, and your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more is a Helm of Awakening. There you go. Nice little uh, common or uncommon from Visions. All spells cost generic mana, uh, one generic mana less to play. So there you go. Thank you, Kyle, for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. Oasis is $2. There you go. See, this is my point, is that there could be some bulk in here that's still worth money, because I don't look at it close enough. See? But is that $2 Canadian? Because that's probably $2 Canadian, and it's not actually $2. That's my, that's my guess. Who's up next? Travis. Travis O is walking away with that dictate of Erebos. Let's see what else we get. Boom. How about an Angel of Invention? Another Mythic. Two, double mythic pull for uh, Travis O from the box this month. Molten Tail Masticor, as well as Angel of Invention. Holy moly, can we keep up the luck? Olivia's Dragoon. Cathar's Shield. Lace with Moon Glove. Soul Shepherd. Fit of Rage. Churning, churning Eddie. And your foil, boom, your foil is a Foul Emissary. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more... Eh. And Ancient Stirrings, which didn't get banned. So I'm glad that it's still... I'm glad that it didn't get banned because it's still in my pile of cards worth a dollar or more. Evan, it's finally your turn. You were the first one, so you're the last one. I apologize. I apologize, Evan. But let's... let's. I know you, you've stuck it out for the long haul. I appreciate it, you being here. You're walking away with a SRAM. And you're walking away with a Silver Fur Partisan. Sorry, I apologize. Evan, you're walking away with that Fraying Sanity. Let's keep you up on the board here. Boom! How about a Tidal Wave? And a Tarju Path Warden. And a Stencia Innkeeper. As well as a Tattered Haunter. Volcanic Geyser. And a Juru's Re uh, Runication. Renu... Renu... Renunication? Renunication. How do you pronounce this word? Renunciation. Renunciation? Renunciation. Bleh, bleh. Words, English, language, read letters in the order that they are placed. Renunciation. There we go. Bleh, 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 bleh. Juro, uh, Juru's renunciation. Whew. 
Woo! We got there, folks. It took us a while, but we did it. Explorer Scope as your foil. It's actually a very nice foil. Explorer Scope is a sweet card, by the way. Great for landfall decks. This card was amazing. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar more is an Animate Dead. So there you go, Evan. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. And that's it, everybody. We pulled all the grab bags. Matthew. Matthew, my man. Are you still here? Mr. Viking MTG, are you still here? And do you want me to do your your bundle now while we're live? If not, we can pick another time if it's better for you. Please let me know. I know that a lot of you were out at your pre-releases. Oh, you get one more! That's right! Evan, oh my goodness. Thank you for reminding me because I forgot. Because I'm a terrible person. Evan's second grab bag. ba 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 boom a Necro Skitter. And a Sur uh, Surikar Spellblade. How about a Thornhide Wolves? A Dragon Scales? An Angel's Tomb? A Carrion Feeder? Dwarven Vigilantes? And a Crozen Vorine. And your foil? Costa, keeping me honest, man. I appreciate it. Mirian Spy, and boom, a daze. You're getting a daze. That's see. That's where. That's what happened. I was just dazed. I was dazed. That's why you missed the grab bag. I think maybe maybe I'm crazy. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm just crazy. But there we have it, everybody. That was grab bags for the month of July. Thank you so much, patrons. Uh, don't forget. I know a lot of you tuned in later. Um, I am going to be putting up a poll this weekend, probably on Sunday. Um, it's for the podcast, which I spoke of before. If you could go and vote, even if you're not a patron, the poll will be public, so please go vote on the Patreon page. I would really appreciate it. Um, it's basically picking the topic for the first podcast. Um, you guys, I don't want to give too much away, but I think you guys will enjoy the premise of the podcast. We're going in a kind of comedic... We're going in a comedic way. We're going on a comedic angle for the podcast. I hope it works out. I really want it to work out. And I think you guys will really enjoy it once we get it going. The first couple podcasts might be a little sketchy, might be a little rough around the edges, but we're going to make it work and hopefully it gets better from there. So make sure you check that out. Check out my patron page um, on Sunday. or uh, And I'm going to leave the poll open for a week or so, so I'll mention it again um, probably next week. Uh, during one of my other streams or something like that. So make sure you go vote. Uh, I'd be really appreciated. And um, yeah, we're also getting really close to some of our other goals on Patreon. Um, I think it's at 50? 50 patrons? We're not, we're not quite there. We're half of the way there. But our goal for 50 patrons is one patron at any of the MTG levels will be randomly selected to win a bundle of their choice from current standard bundles. So, and that'll be every month. As long as we have 50 patrons every month, one patron will always get a bundle every month. Even if you're already subbed at the bundle tier, you might get a second bundle. It's just how it's going to work out. So, um, we're, we're at 28 to 50, so we're, you know, we're only 12, we're only 22 away. Uh, I know it's a lot of people, but hey, you know, crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened. Matthew, Matthew N., and or Viking MTG, are you still there? Do you want me to do your bundle? You have not answered me. You have not answered me. I don't want to open his bundle if he's not here. That's just how this is going to work. I know that Carl's not here, so we can't open his bundle. I also don't know what kind of bundle he wants. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but let's talk for a brief little moment. How did everyone's pre-release go? Did you guys do pre-releases? How did it go? Did you, uh, did you have fun? Did you win? Did you lose? What did you open? Did you open anything spicy? I, I saw someone say they opened up an Omni Science or something like that a couple times. That sounds pretty spicy. So much stuff to go through. All right, here's look at this. This is our. This is our patron. These are our patron grab bags. Now I get to put them all into envelopes and get them all mailed out. Does anyone know why I had this Shaper Sanctuary into the into the patron pile? Is there is there was there a reason? Did I do something strange and and pick it up for some reason and just not 
not realize why I put it in. I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, we're waiting for Matthew. Let's open one of these. Who wants to see more openings? Who doesn't like more openings? It's a live stream. Let's do this. This one, right? Yeah. It was $3 at one point. Let's open up a Jace's spell book and see what we get. Who doesn't like Jace's spell books, right? Now, I picked up six of these. I've only opened two so far. This is the third one. You did one round today? Open a Resplendent Angel and did not do great, though. If they ever do a signature spell book of Johnny, you're all over it. Well, listen, depending on how well the Jace one sells, they will probably do it for other walkers, right? It's a thing. It's a thing that will happen. Okay. Well, we got a foil mystical tutor. That's one of the ones I was looking for, so I'm pretty stoked about that. It's a pretty sweet foil. There it is. I don't know what it's sitting at price-wise, but uh, it's definitely one of the ones I was chasing. So, of course, we've got the Threads of Disloyalty. Negate. I forgot that the foil was on the front. So, this is my mistake here. Gifts Ungiven. Counterspell. Brainstorm. Blue Elemental Blast. And, of course, Jace. Jace himself. Right there. Mystical Tutor foil is pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it's, it's a really cool art on Mystical Tutor. And I like Mystical Tutor as a card. Um, so, pretty stoked about that. But yeah, I'll probably open up a fourth one of these so that I have a playset of all of the cards from it. Um, and then I will keep the other two and hold on to them. And maybe we'll do a giveaway for them at some point down the road. Who knows? Maybe it like, and don't, don't, you know, don't say that I'm going to be doing this, you know, you know, anywhere near the new uh, time frame or anything like that. But, you know, we'll, it'll, it'll be at some point. And by by somewhere down the road, I mean like, minimum six months from now minimum six months from now because it'll be it'll be after the jace spell books are no longer in print before we do the giveaway if we do one the box itself is actually really cool too because they foiled the whole art on the outside of the box so the whole box actually looks really cool like i really hope that they do more because if they do these will look really sweet on a bookshelf like, they will look amazing with the different symbols, because I'm assuming, that, like, this is the J symbol, so then the next one will look different, and so on and so forth. Like, they will look hot. They'll look hot on a bookshelf um, as a display piece. So I really hope that they end up doing more. Who knows if they will or not. I'm not really sure. We don't need that. Who was getting this? Tony, my man. Tony, I don't... You, you said your battery was dying. Tony asked... If he could have the quest of the Goblin Lord uh, from my One of Everything series. And I told him that I would pull it out for him and add it to his grab bag. So once I find your grab bag, Tony, I will put this in there with it. Um, Rick, I still have your tokens that you won uh, during my 1,000 sub giveaway. Um, so I'll be mailing those out to you with your grab bag this month. So hopefully uh, that works out for you. I hope to get those out to you. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I still have them sitting here. Um, but there you go. That's a pretty sweet spell book. I'm really stoked about the Mystical Tutor. Yeah, Jace looks sweet as well. Um, this is the same art that they used on, I think it was M11, M12, somewhere in there. So, I'm pretty happy about the uh, the Mystical Tutor, that's for sure. Like, that was one of the ones I had said that I wanted. I think the other one was the Brainstorm. Was the Brainstorm the one that I wanted to foil up? I think the Brainstorm was the other one that I wanted to foil up. Hey, let's, uh, let's do something else that's fun. What else we got here? Who wants to open up some... Uh, a Tezzeret deck? I haven't even looked at this yet, so I don't even know what's in here. See, and that's too bad, Becca. I really... That's really disappointing, to be honest. It, it sucks that people are price gouging the spellbooks. 
Because I got them for MSRP from my store, which was nice. Which is why I bought six of them. I just bought a sealed mini box of them. Because, like, I told him, I was like, well, how many come in a box? And he's like, oh, well, six. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get a case then. And he's like, a case? The case has four boxes of the boxes that have six. And I went, no, 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 back up. I don't want that many. <laughs> I don't want that many. I don't want that many. Six is a good number. I'll buy, uh, I'll buy a mini case. That's fine. Send the Tezzeret to you. But, but I don't have the Tezzeret except of the one I'm opening, and so I can't send it to you because I need it for my collection. This is a really weird design, this... the glue that they put on these things. The glue that they put on these things is really weird. I also don't really like this design of, like, putting the cards... like behind plastic tabs. I understand that it's there to hold it in place and such, but, like, it's just... I'm always worried that I'm gonna, like, damage the card. Alright, so what have we got here? Your place charged you charged you 40 bucks for the spellbook. See, I didn't pay that much, Costa. I think I paid... 29.99 or something like that for the spellbooks. But he also may have given me the deal because I was buying so many. I have no idea. Anyway, Tezzeret, Cruel Mechanist is a 6 mana, 4 and blue blue planeswalker that comes in with 4 loyalty. His plus 1 is draw a card. His 0 is until your next turn target artifact you control becomes a 5-5 five five creature in addition to its other types. And his minus 7 is put any number of cards from your hand onto the battlefield face down. They are 5-5 five five artifact creatures. Tony, I was just talking about this. I put this aside for you, okay? It's in your it's going to be in with your grab bag, all right? And welcome back. Welcome back, Tony. Got a beer? Um, I don't have a beer with me. In fact, I'm drinking um, iced tea. Iced tea, or what you would call in the southern states sort of a sweet tea, I guess. It, Canadian iced tea is very different than from iced tea in the states in the fact that it's, it's a flavored tea... That is sweetened, but it's not sweetened to the extent that sweet tea is. So, like, it's sugary, but it's not as sugary as sweet tea. It's it's very weird. It's a very weird... I don't know how... I don't know how to explain it. So, I was in Atlanta, right? And we were getting sweet tea everywhere. And it was not bad, but it wasn't as good as this. And that's because it didn't have the flavor. So, it was basically just tea with a bunch of sugar in it cold. This card is the Tezzeret the Cruel Mechanist from the... Oh, the card that I showed you is the quest for the Goblin Lord. Isn't that what you asked for? I think you left a comment, didn't you, saying that you were interested in it? Wasn't it you? Am I confusing you with someone else who asked for this? Am I going to send you a card that you don't actually want? <laughs> that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Look, we get a pack. A pack. We can open a pack of... Of 2019 corset. Now again, I haven't looked at any of this nonsense. Is the tea leaf the one on the Canadian flag? No. No, it's not. <laughs> Although, ah, no. Nope, you don't want to make tea. You don't want to make tea out of, the, out of those leaves. Maple leaves would not make a good tea. They deep fry maple leaves? Why? Japan. <laughs> the answer is Japan. That's my wife, everybody, the peanut gallery. She's making up your envelopes for the patron envelopes right now. She's such a sweetheart. I love her. No problem, Tony. So we got here, we've got one with the machine. We've got Riddle Master Sphinx. So one with the machine is a sorcery that comes in the set. I'm assuming there's going to be a rare in here. So, talk, talking about this, I haven't... <clears throat> I've opened one box of Core 2019. It's coming out on Friday. Palaka Worm is a rare now? Like, remember, I don't look at spoilers, so I had no idea. And I opened it and I went, wait, what? Palaka Worm is a rare? What happened? What happened? Why did we... 
Why did we why did we print Palaka Worm as a rare? I understand that it's probably a rare in a core set because of what it does. But I remember it being an uncommon in Rise of the Eldrazi. But again, then I thought about it. Okay, well, Rise of the Eldrazi, that yeah, makes sense because it's, you know, it's having to deal with Eldrazi. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's not very much compared to Eldrazi. But still, it just seems weird that they would print it as a rare. Anyway, Riddle Master Sphinx, 5-5 five, five for 6, 4 in blue, blue. Flying, when Riddle Master Sphinx enters the battlefield, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. And we've got a Tezzeret's Gatebreaker, which is a four-mana artifact that says, when Tezzeret's Gatebreaker enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a blue or artifact card from among them and put it onto, into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Then you can pay five in a blue and tap and sacrifice Tezzeret's Gatebreaker. Creatures you control can't be blocked this turn. It's interesting. And then, of course, because... This is a mono blue deck. You get a whole pile of islands. A whole pile of islands. Pylons, if you will. All right, Costa, have a great night. Thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your patronage. And I will talk to you later. Divination. Dwindle. Good old Dwindle. Exclusion Mage. When Exclusion Mage enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. So it's basically just... This is basically just like a man of war. It's sort of what it looks like. Only it's a human wizard instead. Gearsmith Prodigy. Gearsmith Prodigy is a 1-2 one, for 1. That gets plus 1, plus 0 oh, as long as you control an artifact. That seems pretty good, actually, for blue. For blue, that seems pretty decent. A 1-mana one 1-2 one, for uh, that becomes a 2-2 two, two. seems alright. Especially blue makes a lot of artifacts. Scholar of the Stars. If you control an artifact, draw a card. Okay. Skilled Animator. Target artifact you control becomes a target an artifact creature with pow base power and toughness 5-5. Five, five. For as long as he remains in play. Wow, okay. That's not even just for turn. That's pretty decent. Snapping Drake, of course, your 3-2 flyer for 4. Uncomfortable Chill. Creatures your opponents control get negative 2, negative 0 until end of turn. Draw a card. Field Creeper? Ugh. I mean, I guess... Field Creepers are fine when you turn them into 5-5s. Five Gearsmith Guardian. Gearsmith Guardian gets plus 2 plus 0 oh, as long as you control a blue creature. So it's a 5-5 five, five for 5 as long as you control a blue creature. So in a blue deck, works pretty good. Manolith, very good. Meteor Golem. This is a card I talk about in, in these Planeswalker decks. This actually can kill Planeswalkers. So 7 mana, 3-3 three, three, that blows up a Planeswalker when it comes into play. Seems pretty alright. Blows up enchantments too. Blows up artifacts. Blows up a lot. It blows up pretty much everything, right? Destroy target non-land permanents. So as long as it's not a land, you get you got there. This is a sky scanner. It's a one-one that says when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. That seems pretty good for a three, three for a three drop. Pendulum of patterns. When pendulum of patterns enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Pay five, tap, sacrifice it, draw a card. Hmm, okay. Viking MTG, I was asking, do you want me to do your bundle? You asked for a bundle of Aether Revolt, right? Let me know if you want to do it now. We can do it now. Tezzeret Strider, you get three of those as well. As long as you control a Tezzeret Planeswalker, Tezzeret Strider has Menace. So it's a 3-1 for three um, that has Menace as long as you control Tezzeret, which the idea is, is that you have Tezzeret in the Tezzeret deck. Um, interesting thing about this is that I didn't notice a lot of, like, there's not a lot of blue spells Divination. Divination is your only sorcery, and one uncomfortable chill is your only instant? Oh no, you have one with the machine as another sorcery. Alright, sounds good. You have two sorceries in one instant in this deck. Everything else is a permanent. You have some enchantments, but like other than that, everything's either a creature or an artifact. I mean, I, I, it makes sense because you want artifacts, but, like, I don't know. Blue normally has, like, some counter spells or some draw card mechanics. Huh. Just seems seems strange that they only put in a, a few instants and sorceries. Like, not even one instant and two sorceries. And one of the sorceries is a rare. Interesting. Let's open up this pack, and then we'll open up your bundle, all right? 
Confidence. It's all about artifact shenanigans. Absolutely. It just seems weird to me that they didn't put in some other, you know, tricks from Blue. Talarian Scholar, of course, with the reprint. I was talking about this in my video the other day. Or today, I should say. Ether Revolt doesn't have inventions in it. It doesn't. We all know this. I've never opened one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I opened one. But I haven't opened enough to prove to me that they exist. And our rare is a Spit Flame. Spit Flame deals four damage to target creature whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control. This is actually a really cool card for dragon decks. Hey, we got a foil. Foil Giant Spider. Foil, foil out of this random pack from a Planeswalker deck. How about that? It's pretty sweet. So let's put that away like so. Boom. Tezzeret. There you go, my man. Maybe we'll play you one day. Who knows? All right. Aether Revolt Bundle. Viking MTG. Pick left or right. Left or right, sir. There's two of them. You have to pick. I'm making you pick. Left or right. So, how's everybody doing? This is how much the delay is. Car God picks right. Viking picks left. Left it is. Let's see if you picked right. And by that I mean you picked left. Oh, 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 huh. I'm a terrible person. I know. My wife's giving me the... Did you just... You stop that. She's, that's the look she's giving me right now. Why did you say that? God, you're a dork. That's what she's... That's the look on her face. Well, See? She loves me anyways, but she still had the look on her face. <laughs> All right. All right, Viking MTG. Let's see. Oh, well, look, garbage. You want this? I can send this to you if you want. I'm sure that'll go across the border just fine. Everything else will get held up, though. All right. We don't need any of this stuff, so let's just kind of put it over here to the side. Boom. Let's do this. Now, do you want me to slow roll these, or do you want me to get right in there? Do you want me to slow roll them, or do you want me to get right in there? This is the question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No foil in this pack. Death Dismissal. Pima Aether Seer. Maverick Thopterist. And you got a Brawl. Brawl's the first rare. Very good rare. There he is. There he is. Get right in? Okay, we're just going to go right to town. Okay. Ironclad Revolutionary, Thopter Arrest, Sly requi Requisitioner, and a Consulate Crackdown. And a foil rare. It's not an invention, but it's a foil green belt rampager. Holy moly. Two packs in, three rares already. Alright. So, other than an invention, what are you looking for? Anything in particular? Anything in particular that you're looking for other than inventions? Skyship Plunderer, Fatal Push. How about that? That's a $5 uncommon. And a Metallic Mimic. Very good rares. So far, you've been doing pretty good. This has been a pretty good bundle, considering uh, this set is about to, to rotate. Fatal Push, Metallic Mimic, Brawl. We just need a Walking Ballista? Push and Mimic, very good. Push Foil would be good, too. Deadeye Harpooner, Untethered Express, Barricade Breaker, and a Battle at the Bridge. And a Foil. Oh, it's a Foil Untethered Express. Oh, man. If that had been an invention, I would have been like, well, that's it. Hey, the Revolt just hates me. Just hates me. I mean, it, I, I mean I'm pretty sure it already just hates me. I don't even know why you guys asked me to open it for you. Because you know I'm not going to open an invention because they don't exist. Outland Boar. Aerial modification, crackdown construct, and a paradox engine. That's a sweet mythic to open. That's what, like a $13, $14 card? Very nice. 
Paradox Engine is a very good card. All right, Rogue Refiner, Airdrop, Aeronauts, Perilous Predicament, and a Walking Ballista! Well, you picked the best box for you, man, the best bundle. You have hit some sweet rares. You hit the rares that you wanted. Let's see if we can get that invention for you, man. I would be super stoked. If we can hit the invention off this too, I'm just gonna be I'm gonna make you pick every box I open from now on. That's just how this is gonna work. Skyship Plunderer, Pacification Array, Sly Requisitioner, and Aspire of Industry. Holy moly, this bundle. This bundle is is on fire. This bundle is on fire. Alright. A gifted Aetherborn. I think that's still in like the dollar, two dollar range. Malfist Revolutionary, Servo Schematic, and a Dark Intimations. Oh, Foil Forest. Well, hey, can't complain about a foil land, that's for sure. Foil lands are sweet. You've had three foils in this bundle, too. It's pretty good. Pretty good, actually. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, Outland 4. Gremlin Infestation, Felidar Guardian, and a Hope of Girapur. Oh, Foil Gonti's Machinations. Okay, that last, some of that last pack magic. Yeah, if none of you are watching Viking MTG's videos, you need to be watching him. Because when he says Luxac, he is not lying. He is not lying. He has opened probably more lottery cards than I have in my entire career on YouTube in about the last month and a half. And that's not with opening more product than I've opened in my entire career on YouTube. That is, like, literally, like, he's opened up, like, you know, two boxes of this and a box of that and one of these boxes and two of those boxes. And that's it. And he's he's opened, I don't know, what is, what's the count at now? Six? Seven? Somewhere in there? Like, Jeebus. Oh. That last pack magic. Untethered Express. Enraged Giant, Reverse Engineer, and, and a Johnny! Wow! Double Mythic Bundle, Walking Ballista, Paradox Engine, a Johnny, Hope of Gearper, Fatal Push, Gifted Aetherborn, Foil Rare, Green Belt Rampager, and a Brawl, Metallic Mimic. Holy moly. Holy moly. This was a very good bundle. It didn't have the invention you were looking for, but... I think that if you had opened this bundle at release, or maybe not even at release, but like right when Amon Ket came out, you would be making bank because Walking Ballista was like a $25 card, Baral was like six or seven, Metallic Mimic was in the $12 to $15 range, a Johnny was only like, what, maybe six, seven bucks at the time, but that's still fine. Fatal Push was like $10 almost. It was like seven, eight bucks. Now it's down to about five, but like still, holy moly. Um, I can't open the one on the right, Car God, because I can't open bundles willy-nilly because I have people in my Patreon that are at the bundle tier, and if they want those bundles opened for them next month, I can't open them now. Um, so, it's the curse of, you know, the curse of having product that I could open, but I, I want to save it in case my patrons want it. Um, so I have all this product sitting around taunting me all the time. And I would love to open it, but I can't. I can't do it. Who needs inventions like a, with a bundle like that? Exactly, Jordan. Exactly. Like, isn't that crazy? It's insane. It's insane. Well, there you go, Matthew. That was a sweet bundle for you, man. Um, if there was any other commons or uncommons that you need out of it, just let me know. I'm sure there isn't, because I'm sure you've opened a fair amount of this set now. Um, you probably don't need anything from it. If there is, though, just let me know, and I will make sure that those get put off in your bundle. Um, for your stuff there. And I believe, if we're not mistaken, you were at the back of this pile. Is that correct? There we go. There is use. Matthew, my man. The man, the myth, the legend, Viking MTG. Go check out his channel, everybody. Make sure you go and sub to him. You want Salmon to be uploading again? Man, Car God, I know, man. But he's not coming back. I don't think he's coming back. He will be around. Uh, um, actually, um, I've been talking to him about being a guest on my podcast. 
Um, so if you haven't heard anything about the podcast, um, here's the spiel. I'm doing a, I'm going to be starting up a podcast um, as like an additional piece of content to basically just be uploading it whenever I have time to do it. It, it probably won't be super regular to start until we start ironing out the kinks and getting things done. Um, but it's essentially going to be a panel podcast, so it's not just going to be me talking about something. It's going to be um, me and probably a couple of other people, special guests and or just people that I play with in my playgroup. Um, just kind of uh, talking about a specific topic. Um, and we're going down sort of like a... You know, it's a mild, it's a, it's a, it's a mild com, uh, comedic avenue, but also a little bit of education is the idea. So hopefully it works out. I'm hoping. I'm super excited about it. Um, so there will be a poll going up on my Patreon site um, this Sunday, um, with, uh, and it will, it's open to everyone, public. So even if you're not a patron, just go check out the Patreon page, vote on the poll. I'd really appreciate it. It'll help me determine. Uh, basically what the first topic is going to be of the podcast. I would really appreciate your input because I want to make the podcast something that you guys are going to want to hear about and enjoy. So um, that's why I'm doing it that way. I really want my patrons to be involved in the podcast, uh, but I also want my viewers to be involved, which is why I'm leaving the poll open to everybody. You don't have to be a patron. Just go to the page and vote on the poll. Um, so I do put a lot of posts on Patreon that are Patreon only. This one will not be Patreon only. It will be open to the public. Um, so you'll be able to see it. Um, anyway, I think that's going to be it for me for tonight. I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. We've been, what, streaming for just over an hour, an hour and 15 minutes or so. It's been a good night. Uh, we have a lot of stuff on the way. Don't forget to tune in on Monday. There will be a Masterful Monday. And then there is some sweet stuff that we opened for the one of everything for Wednesday. So make sure you check that out. Holy moly. It's, it's a spicy one. It's a spicy one. Again, thank you so much to my patrons. I really appreciate it. Um, keep an eye out. Viking MTG and myself are probably going to be doing a box battle for uh, Core 2019. So keep an eye out for that. We'll probably be doing that, I would assume, in the next week or two. I don't know exactly when. You'll enjoy your day in Australia, man. I hope the weather is nice to you and it's not too cold. Um, I don't know what, what where in Australia you're living, but... I know it can get pretty cold this time of year for you guys because it is summer for us right now. Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy your pre-release tomorrow morning if you're going to play. I will be having family here for a birthday party, so I have to go and clean the house some more. Joy, joy, joy. Did you tell them it's your birthday? No. Why would I tell them that? That's not information they need to know. I don't know if anyone heard that, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you all next time also thank you not just a thank you to the patrons but thank you to the, all the viewers and people who comment and people who like and all that stuff I really appreciate you being here I really appreciate just just you watching and enjoying the content That's I do this, I make the content for you guys I crack the packs for myself but I wish that I could share it with you and I wish I could share it with you more than I do but this is the most I can do at this time yeah we all heard it, yeah I know <laughs> She's she's not she's not Quiet, I know that. She's only quiet when she wants to be. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you later. Oh, and don't forget, may your pulls ever be better. <laughs>